Welcome to another eAcademy episode. Today we will discuss the GPRSA Universal Monitoring Module. This device replaces the GPRS communication modules offered by Satel so far. That's why the module combines the functionalities of its predecessors. During the design process, we took into account suggestions and comments coming to us from installers, distributors and users. Consequently, the device incorporates some entirely new capabilities. The GPRSA is a universal monitoring module. What does that mean? Well, the device can monitor the operation of any burglary or hold-up alarm system that is based on an alarm control panel from any manufacturer. The module can also supervise automation systems or functions as a standalone device, monitoring the status of connected digital and analog sensors. OK, let us discuss the construction of the GPRSA module. On the device's electronics board, you will find eight inputs that can be programmed as normally open, normally closed, or as analog, four programmable outputs, of which two are open collector type and two are relay outputs, power monitoring inputs, an RS-232 TTL port for connecting the module to the computer. Inputs for a one-wire digital temperature sensor bus. An analog telephone line input. A power supply input and an APS connector for a dedicated buffer power supply, for example, the APS-612. Module status LEDs. A SIM card slot. And an industrial GSM telephone. The GPRSA module is available in a dedicated enclosure. The set includes an ANT GSM E antenna. Because the module has a standard SMA antenna connector, another GSM antenna, for example the ANT 900-1800 model provided with a long cable, can be connected to it. The built-in GSM telephone supports SIM cards of different operators. As practice proves, in a location where such modules are installed, the strength of the signal received from the GSM network of the given operator may be unsatisfactory. If this is the case, make sure that the card operator can work on other cellular networks. Some companies allow the infrastructure of their partners to be used as part of the so-called national roaming. Thus, you can use the card of one operator to connect to the base stations of another network. While configuring the module, you can define the MCC-MNC code that determines to which cellular network the device should log in. These settings are available in the free dedicated GX soft configuration software for SATEL communication modules. This solution is particularly useful when the strongest signal in the module's installation location is provided by a network which differs from the SIM card's network provider. If properly configured, the device will then use the network of the operator operating the best range and thus ensure reliable communication. It is worth noting that the GPRSA module also offers functions only available for prepaid cards. It can automatically check the balance of your SIM card account and alert you if it drops below the programmed minimum amount. What possibilities does the GPRSA module offer? The GPRSA Universal Monitoring module can be used for effective reporting of events to one or two monitoring stations. The module can be connected to the dialer of any alarm control panel and thus receive event codes from it. In such a case, the GPRSA simulates a telephone monitoring station. If used in conjunction with simpler models of control panels or when supervising various types of processing lines etc., the module can monitor any changes in the state of its inputs. It can also respond when the threshold values programmed for the analog inputs and digital temperature sensors connected to the one-wire bus are exceeded. Moreover, the module will report the occurrence of various types of internal events, including troubles, and will provide information about any change in the state of outputs, for example, when they are remotely controlled. The GPRSA can send event codes to the monitoring station in two ways. It can use GPRS technology via TCP or UDP protocols, or send an SMS message with appropriate content. Another application the GPRSA module may be used for is messaging. Users of eight telephone numbers can be informed about events the module has received from the control panel as part of audio reporting, as well as about violation of the module's digital inputs or exceeding the program threshold values for analog inputs or digital temperature sensors connected to the one-wire bus. The device will also send notifications of internal events such as troubles and of the change of state of its outputs. There are three ways to implement notifications. Firstly, the module can send an SMS to the indicated phone number. 
Secondly, the user of a mobile device with the GX control application installed on it can receive push notifications. Thirdly, the module can call the indicated phone number as part of the CLIP service. A number of wired detectors with NO or NC outputs can be connected to the module inputs programmed as digital ones. These can also be other devices that are provided with such outputs. In addition, the eight inputs the GPRSA module has can be programmed as analog ones. This allows you to connect to the module a wide range of analog sensors for measuring different physical characteristics. Therefore, the module can control or monitor various technological processes such as monitor the soil moisture and or prevailing temperature temperature in a greenhouse or control the water level in a retention tank. As for the temperature measurement, the module has a one wire bus to which you can connect up to eight digital temperature sensors. These may be, for example, satellite sensors such as the DST1. As a result, one device can monitor the temperature by using up to 16 sensors simultaneously, eight analog and eight digital ones. A very interesting solution is the GPRSA module working in conjunction with automation and data acquisition systems. The module supports three open communication protocols, MQTT, JSON or Modbus. They enable the device to send measurement data by using GPRS technology. As a result, users can collect, process and visualize these data, which fits in with the concept of the Internet of Things. An example of using the transferred data can be an external server that collects data from many modules for processing and visualization. It can be used, for example, to supervise environmental parameters prevailing in a group of cold stores, greenhouses, warehouses or production halls. The measured data can also be displayed in real time in the application prepared by the user. If properly configured, it can be used to remotely control the outputs of the modules between which communication is established. As we have already mentioned, two limit values, upper and lower, can be defined for each of the analog inputs as well as for each of the digital temperature sensors. Exceeding these limits may not only be reported to the monitoring stations or the selected users, the GPRSA module can also automatically respond to such an event by changing the state of the indicated output. So, for example, it can turn on the heating, cut off the water supply to a tank, or turn on an alarm to inform you about the occurrence of an event. The module outputs can also be remotely controlled. You can use them, for instance, to arm the alarm system your module works with. They can also be used to implement building automation functions, including control of lighting, garage doors, roller shutters, or heating. You can trigger the change of the state of the indicated outputs in several ways. By using SMS messages from the GX Control mobile app, or from a computer with the GX soft configuration software installed. You can also use the CLIP service for this purpose. An important note. The GPRSA module settings allow you to store as many as 1,024 user telephone numbers authorized to use the CLIP control. Where can such a large number of authorized users be useful? For example, in a housing estate or an office building where a barrier gate is installed at the parking lot entrance. For configuration and operation of the module, the previously mentioned free GX Soft software is used. The clear interface of the program is very similar to that of Perfecta Soft software for the Perfecta control panels. Configuration of the module will be the subject of a separate eAcademy episode. Connection between the modules and the computer can be established in several ways. Locally via the RS-232 TTL port, or remotely using GPRS technology, when connecting to the GPRSA from another location, the SATEL connection setup service can be used. This solution is easy and secure. The computer with GX Soft software does not need to have an external IP address, and the whole procedure of establishing connection takes only a few moments. The SATEL connection setup service is also used to connect to the previously mentioned GX Control mobile application. It is available for devices with iOS and Android systems. GX Control is a convenient tool that offers the possibility of remote control for GPRSA outputs. It can therefore be used to manage the work of devices or systems connected to the module. It allows checking the state of the digital inputs and indications from analog inputs and digital temperature sensors. In the application, you can also check the state of module outputs or view the list of internal events, including troubles. 
In addition, the GX control settings make it possible to define which events the user will be informed of by push notifications. All these functions are available from any location in the world. All you need is a smartphone or tablet with internet access. And now, important information for every installer. To update the firmware of the GPRSA module, you do not have to dismount it. Much in the same way as in the case of other satellite devices with a built-in GSM telephone, you can download the new firmware versions remotely by using the Upserve software. That's all for today. In the next episodes, we will provide more information on how to configure the GPRSA module and use the GX Control mobile application. Thank you for your attention. We invite you to watch the next episodes. See you soon.